how to synthesize titanium zinc oxide hybrid nanoparticle by Dolgel method. Uh, hello and welcome to Nanotechnology channel. This is Marzin Hosseini. In this video, I am going to describe how to synthesize uh, titanium zinc oxide hybrid nanoparticles by Dolgel method. Uh, in this process, two types of uh, um, precursor are used. At first, uh, uh, the solution of this first precursor is produced. Uh, for this purpose, uh, 4 ml of TTIP, uh, which is a titanium isopropoxide, is added to 20 ml of ethanol. And this solution is uh, stirred uh, for about 30 minutes. And next, uh, um, the 3 ml of uh, nitric acid is added to 150 ml uh, of water. And this solution is added dropwise to the solution of uh, TTIP uh, in ethanol. And this solution is uh, stirred for about 2 hours in the uh, in 60 degrees centigrade. And next, uh, the uh, solution of the second precursor is produ produced. The second pre precursor is zinc acetate dehydrate. For this purpose, 3 grams of zinc acetate dehydrate is added to 20 ml of ethanol and 10 ml of nitric acid. And this solution is uh, stirred for about 30 minutes. And next, the solution of uh, zinc acetate is added to hydrolyzed uh, hydro uh, TTIP solution. And this solution is uh, stirred for about 2 hours in 60 degrees centigrade. And uh, in order to um, evaporate the solvent, uh, this solution is heated in an oven at the 100 degrees centigrade uh, for about 24 hours. And next, it is uh, calcinated in, an, uh, tem in the temperature of 600 degrees centigrade uh, for about 4 hours. And finally, the uh, nanoparticles are produced. Uh, different uh, analysis techniques are used to, um, uh, to characterize the obtained nanoparticles. For example, X-ray def uh, diffraction pattern is used to in order to determine the uh, structure of obtained nanoparticles. Uh, as you can see uh, in the XRD pattern of these nanoparticles, uh, the obtained peak uh, at 25 and uh, 47 degree are related to uh, titania in anatase phase uh, and the observed peak at 32, 34, uh, 36, um, 54 and 62 degree are related to uh, zincid phase. Uh, as you can see, despite of heat treatment, uh, the uh, rutile phase didn't observe and uh, instead anatase phase observed. And uh, um, suppression of uh, phase transformation from anatase to rutile phase is due to is due to the um, uh, the, cre the uh, creation of TIOZN uh, bonds, which prevents the, uh, the nucleation of uh, rutile phase by impeding the titania uh, nanoparticles. Also, uh, the uh, size of uh, the crystalline size of nanoparticles, which are obtained by Scherer equation, uh, is 36 uh, nanometer. Also, FDIR analysis uh, is used to determine the structure, the um, respective bonds between uh, in the nanoparticles. Uh, as you can see, uh, the observed peak at uh, um, uh, four, um, 480 uh, and the observed peak uh, in uh, uh, 550 and uh, the observed peak at uh, 590 are uh, related to TIO, TIOZN and ZNO bonds respectively. Also, the observed peak at uh, 1600 and 3400 are related to HOH and OH bonds respectively. Uh, as I said, uh, in this process, uh, the second precursor is added in order to increase the hydrophilicity of nanoparticles. Uh, in fact, 
This process improves the physical and chemical properties of nanoparticles and increases the hydroxyl group on the surface of nanoparticles, uh, which improve hydrophilicity and also it minimizes the chances of nanoparticles to aggregate and modify hydrophilicity of the surfaces which nanoparticles can uh, coat it. Uh, thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so and please put your comment and questions below bye